Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my productivity system. So like how I kind of like organize my life, you would see. So let's get right into it because there's nothing more to see. So for the intro, I'm just gonna like just maybe uh, like just notes. So like for me, I would say that like at every stage you just have to choose like discipline or motivation so like that's like the baseline because if you don't have that then the rest doesn't really make sense like there's no way that it can like curl it and also like you have to be like easy yourself like you don't want to be disciplined but like you know you have to like try you know and also i would say we have to like you have to like get like some applications to like help that system because unless you are like someone who likes to write stuff on paper then it's different but I will recommend like apps that can like so you can see everything as a whole. So um I recommend like a calendar. I personally like Google Calendar, but like if you're like an Apple user, maybe you can go with the other one. That one is kind of hard to use and it's not as like easy to manipulate as Google Calendar is. So I would recommend Google Calendar and then also Notion. But Notion is also kind of like it's a hard platform to get used to, so I would say that it's also like you can go without it and a note taking app um that is for if you want to just dump stuff out and you don't want to write some paper you just want to type it out uh one notes is one and i think there's also like ever or something like that and google has like keep notes so you can also use that so those are like the two points i want to make before we get into the actual notes. so we're gonna start so the first um i think step will be to set your non-negotiables so for me as a college student i have like my morning routine i have the times that i have to eat I don't personally go for breakfast, so I'll just I just have lunch and dinner, and then I also have like my classes and any kind of goals that are time bound for me. So like I'm wearing routine stuff from like six to eight, just because I sometimes have like eight to ten classes, so I rather end the routine at eight and then kind of go for my class. So I have like my classes in like my morning routine in place, my classes in place, and then my night routine. My night routine no, is not really that straight. Because like my night is kind of like, I mean I need to be more strict with that but like I'm not. It's just chill like, it's at night like, I'm just chill with that one. And then my meals, because we have like several times and so it's not like I eat at like 2.30 because the several already broke. So that's why I also put like the meals in place and then my classes which I like. So I set a goal to like go for every class but I missed one yesterday but like besides that's right the point. So like I always have my classes in place and then I kind of. So that's non-negotiables like have to be in place. Like you can't edit them. Like you shouldn't like move them around. So they should always be at the same place. So like if my classes are in place, then I work around it and see like what times I can uh, put like other stuff. So like if I so after the class maybe I want to study, I know when the class is, so I know when to manipulate to like get there and put in like study time. So yeah, that would be the thing. Um I want to say something. So you have to like define so that's the last basically what I'm saying. I get to define the time, and, like stick to it. Don't. That's also recommend the calendar because that way you can see it visually. So I'll put like a picture of like how I start my every week, but it's like a raw week of like my non-negotiables. Like they are there and the empty spaces are when the times that I can like want to play, put in extra activities during the week, etc. Um, so the next one is to write down everything you want to do a week. So. The other good shows are already there and now you have to put in like maybe so i have five classes so i put in like i have to study for that class and then do its like assignment for the week so like that's so it's like two for every subject so basically i have like five activities sorry i have 10 activities for the five courses and then um i also have like personal goals like if i'm working on like a certain project i also have to do that that week um so i think that's it so you just put in like you just evaluate it based on your life and then put in those activities so you have to define them and then also you have to define how much time it takes to do that that one is more it's something like you can edit as you work like as you go on because i started thinking i need two hours for every course like studying every course when i realized that some courses need like three hours some need like just one hour like the easier courses need like less time and the harder courses need more time so as I go on, I keep editing. I mean, last week I realized the courses I needed more. I mean, this week technically. So next week I'm gonna edit this and like add more time to work on those specific courses. So I feel like this is some. This is one thing that you need. Like it, it goes, it edits itself as you go on. So 
just be ready to like manipulate your calendar and activities as you go on um now now that you have defined them you know the time for each of them you have to put them in your calendar so all those empty spaces after you're not non negotiables you can just put them in also put a picture just to show you like how my looks like after doing this step and the next one is so by now your calendar should be filled with like and also don't forget to like add like uh maybe if you and your friend have something planned put it in your calendar so that you don't put like um something like a studying time day because then you can't like say you're not gonna go out with your friend when you're afraid you like committed to go in. So I just feel like always putting it in your plan, not just because like we have to leave at this time, but something so that you can actually see it and know that that time can't be used because it's being used for like extra like social activities. So people think that when you're being like type A, like have to be studying, like you don't have time to like have fun. But just putting it in the calendar, just you know, you like have time for fun as well so plan in the fun time don't make it like too strict but like plan it in just for your own time um so now your calendar should be filled with all your goals your events your classes your routines and also i recommend you define the routine specifically and also when you are like going through the routine make sure you make know how much time it takes to do everything in the routine because me it just takes me two hours to like get everything done if i'm like on the go and sometimes I just need like extra 10 minutes, but most of the time it just takes me two hours. So just know how much time you need in the morning. I'm not saying you wake up at a reasonable time, like five, just so you can get it done or something like that. Just, and also don't do too much in the morning. The morning, just don't do too much because you just get tired and then the rest of the thing you have planned for the day, you can't do it. So just be lenient with yourself, but also kind of strict and discipline. That's the same thing. There should be like a balance. So that is basically all for like my productivity system that's all i use and i also use notion for like my to-do list and um just my to-do list honestly and just seeing like my goals for each week because i have weekly goals and like monthly goals so notion just like where you see my goals my to-do list but then google calendar you see like the times for the to-do list items that's my notion and then i also use like um one note for um just dump and stuff like just randomly Type and stuff. I mean, I could do that on Notion as well, but I guess wanted to explore that app, so I started using that. Um, so that's all for this video. Um, right now, I'm going to go into like some tips and like just last words just to like wrap it up. Yeah? So I don't want to say that don't forget that things don't work according to plan always and be ready to like edit and be flexible with your schedule, as I said before. Just don't be type. I mean, this week I was trying to be type A and like things just did not. So, like, I'm like, just try to like edit and go. That's why I like the calendar because you can just move something to another side you don't have to like if you're writing it down it's kind of hard but with the calendar just drag it to another day or something like that um okay so an example for me would be when things take longer than usual or when something comes up last minute so like if a friend just wants to be oh let's go here but it's like we are going the next day and i already have something planned i sh i can't like just say i will go unless i'll be really straight if not and i want to go i just have to like i can just move it you don't have to be like mad at yourself i mean i I'm a different person i get mad but like technically you should it and you just edit it and just accommodate it the kind of things um also you can do stuff that motivates you like some people i like use like a my vision board on my laptop i think i already shared it in my one i can just give a screenshot or something and also like watching like tiktoks of people like studying living like the best life like that kind of thing motivates me so it's not like a bad thing to like watch stuff to motivate yourself but don't like rely on it because it might motivate you today and then you might work for some time but like the next time you don't have it you need discipline instead of like motivation to like you can use that but like don't rely on it basically and then you should this should be like an opportunity for you to like build trust in yourself like i you tell yourself like i'm gonna do this so you do this like and then you keep building the trust in yourself so now when something presents itself you're like no nah, i know i can do this because anytime i say i'm going to do something i actually do it so it's like this is also an opportunity to build trust and confidence in yourself so you always think so if i choose to do something i'll do it and like when you're in bed and you're trying to contemplate should i actually do this or should i not just think if i do this now my future self will actually be really happy and like will have it easier than if i do not and then everything piles up and like you're just you're just not a you know so just just be lenient with yourself but also be disciplined and like there should just be a balance i don't know if i'm gonna say this outside I just like trying to like create like a balance. So, okay. How? So like, for example, like you have, you know, you have like 
you have classes and then you have assignments and you are like you you had planned your day the day before and like you know you have to get it done okay i will feel i feel like it starts from the day before because yeah if you are not as um no i need it you don't like that because i need like you need to like say anything so i think because like planning before matters more than yeah then planning on that day yeah that does not but like if you plan the day before you have to make sure that like you're prepared the day before as well in terms of like sleeping because if you say you want to wake up at six and you know that you need like eight hours and then you sleep at 12 then you're not like prepared what yeah sleeping at two or three so like i feel like planning the day before and like actually doing the stuff so that the next day like you the next day is like ready for it it's also like one thing so that you don't even have to sit in bed and contemplate because if you need eight hours and you get your eight hours you don't have to be like uh, because you are already rested and so you're ready to like get up and also like if you need to pick me up like if the night before they didn't go well, you need to pick me up like i if i drink coffee i am like and i just need the rest of the day so i knew that if i didn't go if it didn't go according to plan like today I had to go for coffee because I mean I did sleep well but I've just not been feeling like today so I went for coffee and like I was awake in class like actually like engaging I was like okay so now I should start into like if I ever like fall short I can just add that so just find what works for you know your time like your sleeping time and then wake up some people will wake up because if you are if you have classes only from night going you can wake up at seven and so it doesn't matter like the time doesn't actually matter just that I've planned it, so I'm gonna do it. That's the only thing that matters at this point. So, yeah. Do you have any other questions? think. <laughs> you say you uh, we need to create a balance. So that we yeah, yeah. I I'm the kind of person who can't make a balance. But, yeah. I've so like between actually, like discipline and what's it then like just relying on motivation. Or it, balance between um, like being lenient and being disciplined. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like it depends on like how efficient the thing that you plan to do is because if you have like and the assignment is due the next day and you haven't done it and your friend is like let's go out or you're feeling like really tired then I feel like that there should not be even like a thought like you shouldn't think about it. you feel like I need to do the assignment if your friend is like more lenient and be like oh okay then let's do it another day because I really want to go out with you then then it works out but if the friend is like, nah, I really have to go, then you just have to, yeah, you just have to let him go and be like, nah, we have, you have to get the work done. Because, and also I think it's um, in terms of priorities, like if school is like a priority and then friends come after, then sure. But some people in like, in some parts of their life, like friends are about like every other day. So you just have to look at that and see that as well. So, that. Okay then guys, I hope her questions made me say some things that I didn't say in the video. But yeah, that was my friend as well. Like it's not, I'm not talking to myself or something. It's like a human being. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I actually hope this video helped you like kind of like just have an idea of like where to start at least if you want to create more like a more perspective like life. Structured but also fun. Um, I, hope, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video.